What's up guys, CJ back for Kung Fu Night and we are back for some community season one episode two. This one is called Spanish 101. Uh, but last time we had a little introduction to our crew, uh, our community crew here. And uh, we got some interesting people here. Uh, and uh, I'm not gonna waste too much time. I'm just gonna jump right into this next one. Is that co a correction? We have astrology on their schedule. The debate over our library's PA system continues with some students suggesting that volume be lowered, while others question its very purpose. More on that story at the phone. Maybe we should get started on you. No, 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 no. I think we should wait for Jeff before we start studying. We could talk to him as a group about his tardiness. Oh, come on now. Don't use that word around, eh, Ben? In any case, if you want me to have a chat with Jeff, I'd be happy to do it. We've got a bond going kind of. Certainly, brothers. You know, Jeff probably comes late, so he doesn't have to sit through all of your tardiness. Sorry, David. Hey, you guys have some self-respect, you are obsessing over someone who does not give you a second thought. Meanwhile, in Guatemala, journalists are being killed by their own government. The worst part of it is, when it's all over, Spoilers. it's going to be as if it never even <laughs> happened. Hey, Abed, your stories, they don't have spoilers. You understand that TV and life are different, right? Hey! hey. hey. It's vitamin P. Morning, Jeffrey. People are just as you need to. Some interesting uh, camera work here. I like this. Work. Good entrance. Thank you. Hey, Jeff. If you're going to study with people, it would be cool of you to show up on time. Do you guys usually spend the first 20 minutes talking about your interesting personal lives and your cool emotional problems? And I just feel like I never have anything to offer. No, the truth is that my life is emptier than this three-ring binder. Oh, yeah. And if you have any Spanish notes that might fit in there. <laughs> Double space, thank you. Is there some kind of adaptation from the Facebook logo with that? Do you think? Those are good people in there. And they trust and respect you. And watching you exploit them kind of bumps me out. Exploit them? They're my friends. Can I bring your car on, Jeff? No, I'll bet. I don't want you to bring my car around, and I'll bring yours around. Good guy, you get going, all right. You're cute, but selfish and narcissistic to the point of near delusion. You know, Jeff, you can't pursue people so desperately. It starts to creep them out. Why don't we go get a beer? I'll give you some advice, and uh, we can have what the kids are calling a sausage fest. I'm not much of a sausage guy, Pierce. Maybe next time. Next time, then. Hey. Who are we oh, We've been living on the wrong side of the looking glass. You're like Jodie Foster or Susan Sarandon. You'd rather keep it real than be likable. Can you at least tell us what to Google? Can we have a protest? What a protest to hell out of something. We can have a candlelight vigil like lesbians have on the news. I can make brownies. <laughs> brownies? Are, uh, lesbians aren't the ones grabbing candlelight vigils, so are they? Why do you teach Spanish? Why you? Why not man? <laughs> Why not martial arts? I mean, surely it must be in my nature to instruct you in something that's ancient and secret. Well, I'll tell you why I teach Spanish. It is none of your business. <laughs> now, I don't want to have any conversations about what a mysterious and scrutinous man I am. <laughs> What do you just caress his face? With a picture or a word on it. A card with a picture of a house on it. So that means a person with a card with the word casa on it is her partner. Comprende, Starburn. Don't swap with him, bro. Oh my god. See you Friday. Do you want to trade cards? No. I'll give you 20 bucks. 
No. 50 bucks? No. I don't want your money. I want your shirt. What? I've had my address since registration, Dave. All right, fine. Give me your card. I don't think you understand. I want to wear it out of here. Bob has been eyeing that shirt for three weeks. It's almost Jesus. like you gave it to him so he would switch cars. Uh, tomorrow night, dinner, drinks. I think that's something that we should discuss with our partners. Oh, see, I did switch oh. cars. Oh. Who is he with? What are the odds? Uh. <laughs> Destroyed all my marriages. Of course, it didn't help any that I can't have children. I'm not sterile. In fact, it's a rare condition called hypervirility. Apparently, my sperm shoot through the egg like bullets. <laughs> Can you believe that? I can't. No. No, but you can't, so that's fine. A Spanish conversation using those five phrases. Ooh. That... Hemingway's lemonade. We don't need to make this a long evening. We can what, just... am I a piece of garbage to you? What? No. <laughs> Got ya. Hey, come on. Uh, let's, uh, let's have one drink before we work. I mean, it seems like you've got a burr up your ass or something. Well, um, I guess that it's, uh, I think it's Britta. Forget Britta. All you have to know about her is her name. What is she, a water filter? Oh! <laughs> Better yet, before we do that, let's ask ourselves, what is the story? Oh my God in heaven. He's a mad procrastinator. He just gets off topic easy. Okay, let's get started. Hand out the candles and we do what's called a speechless protest. We would take over our mouths, gather hand in hand in a sea of outrage silence. <laughs> What's that into you? This is not how you do this. Well, we know it's not how you do it because we're the one that this is tacky and lame. What can I do? You can hang what you cut up in Nagel's pinata. I just realized he was beaten to death, right? That's where we got the idea from. He meant. What, if he's some cause Brit is into? It's a silent protest, lots of candles. Gets ladies in the mood for social change, if you know what I mean. Good chance to put some miles on this shirt. You realize these conversations are due in the morning, don't you? Don't do. Hola, mi amo Abed. Hola, mi amo Troy. Donde esta la biblioteca? La biblioteca esta en la ciudad. Gracias. Max, we're gonna do. We're gonna take this, and we're gonna put it in a museum for crazy people. And then we're gonna take this and memorize five phrases from it tomorrow morning before class. But the one I kind of like is out there in the moonlight caring about something stupid. And this is my chance to show her that I care enough to act like I care about it too. That's all you had to say, Jeff. That would be honest. honest. Oh, that would have been great if I had done that two hours ago. You tell me I'm trying too hard to be your friend, so you have to go. Pierce, I got an idea. Why don't you get a cup of coffee and hold some waitress hostage with a monologue about your sperm? I'll show you some sperm, buddy. Here I go. What's he gonna do? How is he gonna show him sperm? What the fuck? You know what he did that's really crazy? He offered me a hundred dollars to switch cards with him just so he could be partners with Jeff. Shit. Hola, class. Hola. Time for our presentations. Pierce, I understand if you don't want to be my friend, but this thing that we've created, it is bigger than the both of us, and it deserves to be done right. You ready, amigo? See. Si. Real bad. Yes. There's a smart guy 
like you would know that no woman in that class would be able to look at you as a sexually viable candidate ever again. Um, okay, yeah, that was season one, episode two of uh, Community. Uh, what I would, will say is uh, I like, like the freestyle at the end for sure. Um, and I like seeing uh, Mr. Jung, Ken Jung. What's his name? I like seeing our guy um, as the Spanish teacher. And is he a recurring thing? I, I knew he was in one of these shows, one of these eh, 22, 30 minute, uh, you know, comedies. I just don't remember which one. It may sound weird. I halfway expected him to show up in um, the office at some point. We, I got to see very much so how crazy uh, Pierce is. I bet you they finished that bottle, um, or he, I'll say he, uh, I bet you he finished that bottle uh, that very night. I got fucking um, Abed and Donald Glover <laughs> were able to finish the assignment in like a second, but they literally sat in there for hours and created a number of acts um, in this weird fucked up play uh, that they put that they put together. Shirley's a beautiful woman. I know that's I know that's random, <laughs> um, but I wonder when she started um, uh, acting and everything. Um, I'd be curious to see some of her some of her earlier work just to kind of see like you know how long she's kind of been in the in the industry. Definitely like her character. Uh, very very sweet woman. Um, I, I would say. Um, what else? What else? I don't think there was too much else. Uh, 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 too much else to this episode. Oh man, fucking the Spanish teacher was was, was once again. Let me touch on him again. He was fucking hilarious, bro. Um, I swear he's just he just plays some weird characters <laughs> in everything that he does. Um. And a lot of that shit has got to be improv, man. Like, how do you script half the shit that he does? After you say this, be sure to caress, you know, the face of, of the student sitting on the very first uh, first row of, of your classroom. Like, no, there's no way. This this dude has just got to be a very talent, talented, weird um, type of dude. Well, he, he, he was he was in he was in the office, wasn't he? He was he was in the improv episode uh, with with uh, Michael Scarn. Uh, what else? Started off pretty strong. You know, the middle stuff, at least with the, uh, you know, the protest stuff. Our combination of Shirley and, I don't know, the other, the younger girl's name. Uh, yeah, it was all right, but I kind of like the, uh, the beginning, um, a little bit more of spending our time in the classroom, I would say. Uh, but yeah, you know, it, it is what it is, I'd say. Uh, but I'm going to close this one out. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. I don't know what the next episode is called, but you know, be sure to check out the Patreon tiers. A um, lot, lot of new shows. Um, it's always sunny. Uh, be sure to subscribe uh, here on YouTube if you're not interested in that, or even just simply leave a like. It really helps, uh, helps the channel grow. And I'm going to catch you next time. Peace. I want to take you for a ride. I want to take you for a ride.